So how do they truly feel about you right now? We have the Three of Swords. We have Enemy and Thief. feel about you right now wow <laughs> ten of swords and the whip this is very intense energy at the bottom of the deck i just felt called cool to look at the bottom of the deck we have the mice and the six of swords which is very interesting and relevant i'll get into that in a moment how are they truly feeling about your confidence your person is feeling really sad okay Three of Swords, Heartbreak card. They feel like you are in heartbreak, okay? This is very relevant, the Six of Swords, because it's healing. They want to help you heal. Six of Swords traditionally shows a divine masculine steering a boat with a divine feminine in and a child. But it's the divine masculine that is steering this boat out of um, stormy waters, stormy emotions into calm waters, into confidence. This person, they know something's eaten away at you, the mice. It, it denotes loss, theft. We have thief here as well. They feel like something's been stolen from you. It could be your happiness from some sort of enemy. Some sort of enemy has caused you a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak, three of swords. They see you in mental anguish, okay, because the swords are about your mind and perception. Traditionally, it shows these three swords like stabbed into the heart. And betrayal, wow, ten of swords and the whip. The whip is like the devil energy. It says family quarrels, loss again, and thief. And this says about thief. It denotes recovery after great difficulty as well, it says. So this person, they love you so much, okay? They want to restore your happiness. They want to restore your confidence. This is someone who's feeling really sad and heartbroken right now because they know your worth, okay? They really value you. They really love you. And they want to help restore your self-confidence, your sense of self-worth. They deeply love you and they want you to know that they deeply love you, okay? That you are deeply loved. Um, they believe in you, okay? Like you're going to overcome this with success. This also is like the leap of faith from the full card. Um, Self-belief, courage. They're, they're supporting you. Um, you're unstoppable. They want you to feel secure, okay? Like someone's taken your happiness, I feel. Someone has stolen something from you. It's the, this devil energy. It's a lot of darkness. They feel like something's really eating you up inside, eating away at your confidence. And they want to restore this, okay? They love you so much that they're really worried about you. Sorry, I didn't realise it wasn't focused then. Let's dive deeper into this. The Empress, they see you as this amazing person. This is like the mother figure. This is someone very nurturing. Um, they see you as very strong. There's a new beginning that's occurring here. This person, they want to surround you kind of like that divine womb. They want to protect you. They want to shelter you and shelter you in so much love. They see you as this, I'm hearing regal, like divine feminine. This is making me think of the phoenix. They see you've been through so much that you keep rising from the ashes though. And this person really has come into your life to help you with this immensely because they are your twin flame or your soulmate. You have a very powerful connection says 444 how else are they feeling about you letter they want to communicate with you maybe you've communicated with this person or you're about to 
have this um, an important conversation. Um, maybe you've received some sort of bad news because there's a lot of negativity here in these cards. But um, there's going to be some sort of communication of love between you both, of support. Look, this is something deeply personal to you as well because this is inside the home and so is this this thief energy let's dive deeper the knight of cups they absolutely love you i'm telling you some sort of written communication come is coming in opening up Maybe in written form, because we have a book here and we just had this letter. Writing. The book presages the discovery of a mystery affecting the person for the better. So there could be some sort of confusion. In some cases, maybe your person doesn't know exactly what's going on, but they know that you're in some sort of heartache or they're really sensing this because many of you have a very powerful telepathic bond. They absolutely love you. The Knight of Cups is the most romantic of all of the knights and they are the messenger of love. So I'm telling you, this person's coming in, revealing their heart, opening their heart. They're already surrounding you with all of their energies. If they haven't yet come forwards um, in that written form, but there's some sort of discovery, some sort of darkness that's coming to light here as well confidence and like i said this image reminds me of the full car this is leaping into a new beginning having released a lot of this darkness having released a lot of baggage how else are they truly feeling about you they're missing you like crazy okay yeah, I'm telling you, this is just confirming what I just said, surrendering a lot of baggage. It says letting go and letting go on. Whatever's going on for you, Divine Feminine, this is a lesson from the Divine to help you uh, surrender, to help you trust in the Divine, trust that everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening as a blessing in disguise. There could be some sort of immense blessing after this but it may be hard to see that in the moment with all of this dark energy shadows um sort of clouding your judgment somewhat but stepping out of the way this is all to help you learn to again trust the divine it says trust have faith go with the flow peace is returning to you a sense of allowing releasing attachment perhaps to outcomes, being open and receptive to your highest good coming in. This person has come into your life to continually help remind you, and they could be reminding you th simply through the connection that you share, simply through the energies of light and high vibration that they are offering to you with their open heart. Because this person has a very open heart and they're coming forward with that open heart. How are they feeling? We have the Pope, or this is the High Priest. And this is like you both. This is like twin flame energy looking to the divine. They know that you are both on a very powerful spiritual path. This could be why intense shadows, it will be why intense shadows are coming up. Um, it's to get you um, more connected, more consciously connected with your higher self, with God, with the divine the infinite this is your prayers being answered look their hands are like in prayer position your prayers are being answered i feel like for some of you you're also really missing each other there could be a fear of loss like you both want to get closer you don't want to become more distant um but you're both looking to the divine and i'm hearing all is well all is unfolding as it should be you just have to surrender go with the flow um, how else are they feeling right now? Malady. So again, they know that you're going through some tough times, some difficulties. It's all to do with this healing. It's all to do with healing your heart. I mean, we started off with the Three of Swords. 
And again, that's normally those swords are piercing the heart and the swords are about mind and perception. So whatever's being triggered here, it is ultimately to clear out some negative self-image um, beliefs, you know, negative beliefs about yourself that could be manifesting or um, being triggered up so that you can remove those and open your heart further as well with this Knight of Cups energy. This is also you healing and opening your heart. So let's dive even deeper. How they're feeling about you right now. Five of Swords, and look, the coffin. It says the coffin foretells acute illness or loss. Um, the possibility or the probability of averting evil, it says. Mm, the coffin, yeah, there's some sort of death and rebirth, but this reminds me of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Your person, they witnessed you go through a lot of intense death and rebirth kind of energy. Again, to clear out wounds from your heart. Five of Swords is, it's like defeat. You could temporarily feel defeat, but they know that you are the Empress. They know your indestructible nature and they're trying to help you remember this, okay? This is only a temporary, like, setback. Um, these are the natural cycles of, like, death and rebirth or releasing wounds, They're feeling your absence as well. I mean, the Five of Swords can mean pushing away, but you're not intentionally pushing this person away, but they feel your absence, but they understand it, okay? Energized. I'm telling you, this person is coming in. They want to restore your energy because, look, you may have been feeling very exhausted mentally, emotionally, recently but they are here to help you have this inflow of life force there's some sort of shift that is occurring for you very soon where and some of you could already be feeling this like starting to feel excitement returning to euphoria or increased levels of or thought euphoria and um, and also this is why those wounds are being cleared out from your heart so that you can be open and receptive to receiving more of this euphoria and um, higher dimensional energy. Your person is so inspired by you that you are their rock, okay? And they are being your rock. This is what they want to be for you. You're coming into a time of being rejuvenated. This malady, this imagery here makes me think of the Four of Swords, which comes after the Heartbreak card. It's the healing of your heart. Um, yeah, Mo you're going to be moving into feelings of enthusiasm. Intense healing is taking place right now. Powerful shifts are occurring. You're being aligned more with your true soul self and motivated. So... How else are they feeling? Seven of Pentacles. This is so much positivity coming in. In order to be able to receive more positivity, you have to make room for it. So this is why there could be some intense wounds coming up. It's triggering you to the point where that which was stuck in your subconscious that you couldn't see, that was holding you back, is coming up to the surface so you can remove those things, see more clearly and be able to receive your divine inheritance here. Ego death is at the bottom of the card. It could be terrifying, chaos, mind-blowing. The surreal is real. You could be feeling disoriented, holding on, because you may feel all over the place. Um, surrender. This is ultimately about freedom. Awakening is occurring. A very eye-opening experience to clarify what I was just saying. Let's get... Yeah, look, you couldn't see something. But this is happening to help you discover something. With this book here as well. Mm. 
mystery. It says discovery of a, of a mystery, something you may have been searching for, answers um, is coming in. It says stuck in illusion. This was some sort of wake up call for you, okay? To do with your poor self image, you are stuck in that illusion, fearful in the overactive mind, stressed, blinded, unaware, asleep, caught up in the social matrix in some kind of way, conformity, amnesia. Let's get one final card through, shuffling these as well. This is all part of your soul journey, okay? This is all soul agreements before birth to help you ascend. And um, this is an ascension path you are on, awakening, going back home to the higher dimensions, journey of the heart, um, learning to trust your intuition. A lot of this surrender is coming out of the fearful thoughts and trusting your own intuition as well. You're moving into deeper levels of enlightenment. This is soul exploration, growth, feeling called, okay? You're feeling deeply called by the divine to ascend, hence why you're going through some really, really immense triggering and maybe immense karma to clear these things out. And I'm telling you, this person, they are in your life, like they've come into your life to be like your biggest supporter, like the person who really understands you, has your back, and is deeply inspired by you because of all of your strength. So if this really has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.